Now let's take a previous example and put a comment syntax before the connection dot close. Two slashes in front of a line mean don't execute this piece of code, just ignore it because we don't want to close the connection. And now we're going to call the send method on the connection, connection.send. And we're going to send a comment in JSON notation to the uh, XRPL node. So the command is, and now uh, two single quotes because it's a string, it's account underscore info and the account is the XRP tipbot account. Then we're going to receive a reply and we want to run some new piece of code on this reply. So we're going to do a console.log got answer from node and then we're going to do another console.log reply. So we're actually going to show the entire reply in the console. And we're going to save this. Let's run the code. And that went really fast. Uh, what you can see over here in the terminal is we ran the code. It was connected. We got an answer from the XRPL node. And this is the answer. It's got a account data object with the account and the balance and a few other things. This is the balance, the live account balance in drops. And the cursor is still here and we are not back on the prompt, which makes perfect sense because we didn't close the connection. So let's press Ctrl C to cancel. So this disconnects our client from the node. And now we are going to move this line up here because we want to close the connection when we get a reply, not before that. And we are not going to show the entire reply. We just want the balance. So if you scroll up, you can see you get the account data element and then balance. It's case sensitive. So we are going to type reply dot account underscore data dot balance. Let's save it again. And let's run the code. Connected, got answer from node. And here's the balance. Now we want to show the balance as uh, the amount in XRP. So we got to divide it by a million. And something else we got to do is if you scroll up, you can actually see it's between quotes. So it's a string, it's not an integer. So we can fix this and let's turn it into a variable over here. So we're going to cut this piece of code these two as well. Uh, we can close the connection first because we just want the balance and now we're saying const balance is parse int, parse integer, it turns the string into an integer, then the reply dot account data dot balance divided by a million and now let's console lock the balance. save and run it again or let's clear the screen first there you go the XRP tipbot hot wallet balance right now is 58,500 and something XRP